I will say this, that the comparison between these LifeX bulbs and the Philip Hue bulbs is gonna be the Mayweather-McGregor money fight in the smart home lighting realm. Both these bulbs are highly rated from my perspective and I've used them both extensively in my own home. The LifeX bulbs are quite bright and seem really expensive, though they're really not. Philips Hue line is basically the king of the smart home lighting realm, but you still have to deal with a base station and you really don't get to interact with your Hue lights as much as you do with the LifeX bulbs. In the next few minutes, I'm gonna cover the difference between the smart home LED bulbs, the functionality of the bulbs and the compatibility of each product with different smart home platforms. I am also gonna talk about the total install cost for each system and I'll answer the following questions to help you choose the right set of lights. You know, questions include, which set should you get if you're using Apple Home? Do you need night vision in your home? And are you gonna mount lights outside? And what kind of entertaining are you gonna do? Answering those questions will help you choose which light bulbs to get. For this comparison, I've given the regular life a score of 4.3 A's out of five, the LifeX Plus a score of 4.7 A's out of five, and the Philips Hue Color Ambience gets a score of 4.6 A's out of five. If you wanna see how these lights compare against other smart home lights, such as the Nanoleaf Smart Ivy and Ikea Trad Free, check out the comparison tool on my website. At Smart Home Reviews, A, Monty and I have based all our reviews on actual usage, and with light bulbs, it means that we've been moving light bulbs from room to room, which is a weird thing to say and do because they're light bulbs, they usually don't go anywhere. But Buddy and I do all of this to make sure that, well, we get the most out of our home and whatever we discover, Moreover, whatever I discover, I'm gonna share with you. When it comes to design, the Philips Hue bulbs are smaller than the LifeX bulbs, though the LifeX bulbs do look a little different than your run-of-the-mill LED bulbs. I'm guessing the main reason for this design difference and size difference is the fact that each LifeX bulb can be used without a base station and the bulbs are much brighter. Installing both sets of bulbs in your home is easy. Uh, for the Hue bulbs, all you do is plug them in and plug in the base station, whereas in, for the LifeX, you just plug the bulbs in. One less step and one less thing to plug into your router. Now you might be thinking, I'm silly, I'm mentioning the ease of installation, but, <laughs> but compared to the bulbs from Ikea, uh, you know, who is the king of simple to install furniture, Installing their trad free is incredibly painful. If you wanna know more, do watch that review. Now, one of the biggest differences between the two sets of bulbs is the lack of base station for the LifeX bulb. The Philips Hue Smart Bridge is something you have to install directly into your router. Now, this isn't a problem for me because I've got a router with a free port, but others might have a router that's installed in a hard to reach place, so trying to install the Hue Bridge is going to be tougher. Both sets of lights are dimmable and allow you to choose whatever color of light you want. Now, custom colors is great, but really, has 16 million different colors, sweet. Like, <laughs> I would prefer to be able to choose a specific color through, you know, RGB or hex values. But if you seriously wanna choose a specific color, you can use a smart home assistant like Siri to change your Philips Hue lights to Cerulean. The LifeX bulbs offer an infrared LED, which helps extend the range of smart home cameras uh, that have night vision, such as the ones from Nest and D-Link. I was curious to see if the IR LED actually works, uh, so I did a bunch of tests in my basement, and well, check out that video if you wanna know how well they work. Generally, it kinda does. When it comes to brightness, the LifeX bulbs are the clear winners. The LifeX bulbs produce 1100 lumens, which is almost 70% brighter than the Philips Hue bulbs. Now, from my perspective, the difference in brightness is gonna be a differentiator for some people looking for smart, or light, smart lights in their home offices. Me, personally, I love how bright my work area is with the LifeX bulbs. Last thing I'll talk about when it comes to design is the improved weather resistance that the LifeX Plus bulb has. LifeX Plus can be used outside as long as the bulb isn't exposed directly to water. This is gonna be handy for people who are planning on running an IR camera that's pointed outside. When it comes to functionality, each set of bulbs has a unique feature that allows, that sets it apart from one another. They're not exactly the same, we'll say. Both the apps for these products are incredibly easy to use, but I do have to give a hat tip to LifeX because their app includes effects, which are basically steroids or scenes on steroids. It's pretty cool what they've done with it. My favorite LifeX effect is the music visualizer. Uh, it's so cool and it's great if you're like entertaining people with music or just listening to music in general. You're gonna love how the lights change according to the beats of the music. And if you're into it, you can even add a strobe every once in a while, which you know makes things really, really ra ravey, I'll say. All in all, I've been very impressed with how smart home lighting has passively affected my life through all the different colors. But being able to use this music visualizer is neat because it allows me to kind of interact with my home. 
I didn't have any issue with the connectivity of either set of bulbs. Every once in a while, a bulb wouldn't change to the same color as the other bulbs, but you know, it wasn't stuck. You just have to reapply that preset again or manually change the color of that bulb. When it comes to remote access, both these products allow you to access your lights over the internet without going through a specific smart home platform, which is great. In terms of compatibility, the Philips Hue basically works with any smart home platform. The LifeX doesn't work with Apple HomeKit or Wink. Now, if you're not running Apple Home, that's not gonna be a big deal, but if you are running Apple Home, I personally wouldn't suggest you get these lights because they exist outside of your uh, home control and being, in, being able to interact with your lights uh, give it through Siri is pretty cool. And so not being, a, being able to do that with LifeX bulbs, well, you're kind of getting the short end of the stick of the uh, home automation control voice command stuff. I'll also add that the Philips Hue API has been incorporated with other apps like Sleep Cycle, which is kind of neat. Before I get to the price comparison as well as answering those four questions, if this video has been useful to you or you've watched a bunch of my videos and they have been useful, consider getting your stuff through my links because it won't cost you anymore and I get a small commission for helping you choose the uh, smart home gadgets that you're about to buy. I'm not sponsored by any of these companies, so I basically, basically in this video, you've seen like six, seven hundred dollars worth of smart home lighting that I've paid out of my own pocket to produce this comparison. So any sort of help is gonna be awesome. So what's the difference from a price perspective? Initially, I was appalled at the price difference between the LifeX bulbs and the Hue bulbs, uh, but after doing a bit of math, it's not as appalling as long as you get the right bulbs. For example, say I'm gonna get 12 smart home LED bulbs. If I was to go with the Philips Hue color, that would cost me $630 as I have to buy the starter kit and then nine additional bulbs at $50 a piece. The Coolivan set would only be $589 if I bought two regular LifeX six, uh, six pack bulbs or $780 for the LifeX plus bulbs. If I was using the bulbs in the entertaining area, I would go with the LifeX bulbs. Uh, again, if I wasn't using Apple Home. Again, because of the music visualizer effect. Now, I personally wouldn't get a full complement to LifeX plus bulbs. I just don't see why you would need an IR light <laughs> throughout your entire home. Yeah, I really can't think of why. So as I said in the uh, LifeX review and LifeX Plus review, be very, very cognitive, we'll say, or yeah, be very, make sure that when you get your LifeX Plus bulbs, you are using them in a very specific situation because you don't want to be sprinkling these everywhere because they're $20 more per bulb. Now here's where the price difference becomes, well, appalling with the LifeX Plus bulbs. If I was getting smart home lights for my office area, I probably only need the custom white bulbs, the white ambience that Philip Hue has. And this is where the price difference is gonna be big because a full set of white ambience is only gonna cost you $369 compared to the regular 589 LifeX bulbs. In this situation, the question you have to ask is the extra 70% of brightness worth the extra $220? So again, I'm just, Trying to emphasize you've got to be careful uh, what you're getting with your light bulbs because it can get expensive quickly. I'm still personally recovering from the sticker shock of going from incandescent bulbs to just regular LED bulbs. So these $50 smart home LED bulbs are frankly insane to me in terms of price. So at the beginning of the video, I listed out four questions to help you choose what bulbs uh, to get. Now I've basically answered every one of those questions throughout this entire review, but kind of as a recap, if you're using Apple Home, then you should definitely use the Philips Hue because you can incorporate it with uh, Siri, being able to verbally command Siri to change color lights. Pretty cool. Uh, the second question was, are you planning on using it as an infrared light? There's a clear answer for that one, a clear winner, and that's LifeX Plus bulbs. You can mount these outside, provide, provides infrared light for your infrared enabled uh, smart home cameras. And the last question is, what kind of entertaining do you do? I'm, I'm a homebody, so I don't spend a lot of time entertaining people, and the people that I entertain generally don't like music a whole lot. So I can easily get away with just the Philips Hue bulbs, but if you're a partier or you've got a room that's built specifically for you know lounging and listening to music, then definitely, get the LifeX Plus bulbs because those effects that come with uh, the app and the uh, these LifeX bulbs are pretty cool, pretty awesome. So that's all I have for this video. If this is the first time you're watching one of the videos, do subscribe. If you have questions, comments, leave them down there in the comments section below. That's kind of all I got. Thanks for watching.